Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Tomb Raider 4. This is um, inside Makori's Pyramid. We've just climbed it and ah! We're already, already being greeted by a nice bat. Wonderful. And look! Tomb Raider 1 memories. Ah! Yeah, Lero! Of course! Run into the wall! Yeah, I just wanted to shock people. Woo! No, don't aim... Don't aim the mummies, Lara. Aim the bastard bats. Okie dokie. Um, down there we have this weird bathtub, how I like to call it. And we actually need to open a trap door that is like in it. Oh god damn it. And as you've seen, Lara looked up before to like some sort of star. And we actually need to shoot this. Um, and yeah, this will actually open up trapdoor uh go up come on ignore ignore the mummy the mummy's down here god stop making those disgusting noises it sounds like you're about to throw up or something like that seriously it's disgusting i wonder how they even had the idea to make the mummy sound like that get inside Yay! Oh, there's no water in this bathtub. You lied to me. I never said there was water in it, but I feel like I want a bath like Cleopatra. I mean, I didn't even get the chance to take a bath in her palace. So now that you mentioned the bathtub, I actually expected something. Would she want to like take a bath in like water that is like 2,000 years old, Lara? Why not? It's better than nothing. And it's better than taking a bath in a cistern. I thought he didn't mind that. I actually lied to you. I do that a lot. Oh, okay. Okay, guys. Do we have a deja vu right now? Yes, we do. It is double rope swimming like in the catacombs. And yeah, <laughs> as experience showed it us, it is always good to save before you do something like that. All right, let's do this then. It is actually not as difficult as the one in the catacombs, I would say, but better be safe than sorry, right? I don't want to, like, reload the game and then have, like, an argue argument with Laura again about the bathtub. Because if I reload it, she doesn't have that knowledge yet that there is no water in the bathtub. Jump! <gasps> Woo! Okay, she grabbed it. And yeah, guys, it is actually absolutely necessary that you swing over the right, uh, the right pit first, yes, because... There is actually a lever up here that we need to pull first in order to open the trapdoor that is on the left side or the left. Woo, boo bangle! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okie dokie. Yes, there is actually a second pit like this one that we need to swing over. And don't even have the idea to think, oh, why can't I like this shimmy along? No, you can't. It actually takes a life away for some reason, even though there are no spikes. Yes. Well, you, if you have a, an endless amount of map packs, you could. it is technically possible to, like, just swing over the pit. But, yeah. Okie dokie. Let's save here too, real quick. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Geronimo! Woo! Okay, Lara. Oh god, stop throwing up, you effing bastards. It's disgusting. Let's turn a bit. No, he, not here. Here. Alright. Oh, whoa. I actually thought she was going to jump past it, but. Thank you, Miss Croft. You made it. Okay. What we actually get to meet in a second is Minkoris Guardian. And you know what to say? Save your goddamn ammo and don't kill him. I don't have time to kill you, I'm sorry. Just want to steal something from you real quick if you don't mind. And then I'm away already. Oh, I don't care, I have med packs. Look, look, it doesn't even do that much damage. Just, just, ow! Ignore this bastard. Bye bye! Ah! Oh. <laughs> that was effing close. But you see, it is not worth killing him. It, it, he didn't even do that much damage with his stick, that's what she said. Sticks never do damage! Shut up, Lara. No one wants to hear your opinion. Aye, sir! 
All right, let's zoom back. And I dare to not save. <laughs> That's how confident I feel after like not being killed by an ancient Egyptian god. I mean, if I had map packs like her, I also wouldn't like mind stealing something from, his, from an Egyptian god. I mean, ah, ow! He just threw up on my best shirt. Lara, how can this be your best shirt? It stinks and it has like, I think it even has like holes in it now because that Egyptian god shoot like lasers at you. How can he even have lasers? I mean, isn't that something from the future? <laughs> you ask me too much with that, seriously. <laughs> oh god, I... <sighs> it's so disgusting. Okay, guys. <laughs> let's get out of here. And let's enter the door that is opened. Yeah, it's actually gonna get pretty creepy in a second and pretty dark. So I'm actually gonna light a flare, I think, because we're not in Silent Hill, are we? And guys, be aware, there is actually a trap here. Whew. Ouch! Why did you cut me, you slag? It actually scared me the first time I ran through here, I remember that. I, I think I even jumped. Like, <gasps> Holy water! Oh no, another trapdoor! Uh, where is the handle? Let's try and find it. Is it. Looks like it's up here, isn't it? It's just grey shades for me! Uh, no. Lara, why won't you open it? Is it here? Oh yeah, thank god. <sighs> That's pretty annoying. All right. Even more pyramids. Don't we love to see that? And oh, hello, Mr. Scorpion. Oh God, I actually. <sighs> I could have pressed the left, left on the D-pad. Holy water. Ah, okay. Oh, guys, now I actually have to show you something. <laughs> I don't know, every time I see it, I just have to laugh because I think I don't even know what to say about it. Just, just watch. <laughs> Did I just remove the whole top of a pyramid by pressing a button on, an, on another pyramid? How is that possible? How is that possible? I don't even know. I wish I could make a joke about it, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. Seriously, I'm totally speechless. Uh, how do I jump? I'm scared. Let's save. I don't trust this jump because otherwise I'm gonna slide down and land in the pit. Ooh, uh -huh. I knew it! I knew it! Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! Bye, Lara! Oh man, see you back at the spot, guys. Alright. Let's do this again. You know, you see, I had a feeling that something was wrong. Alright. <sighs> the joy of pyramid climbing, that's all I see. That's what she said! Why is it that's what she said? I don't know. Alright, let's drop into here then. And why is Lara still holding a flare in her hand? I don't know. And the better question is, where the hell is the top of the pyramid? It's like nowhere around here. Where the hell has it gone? <laughs> oh god, this is this is just, I don't know. <laughs> Tomb Raider logic, I guess. This is almost futuristic, I think. Like the way that like just the... The top of the pyramid fell off. It's, yeah. Yeah. Whatever. What's coming up now? I can hear noises. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. X. Didn't miss you at all. Woo! That was close. I actually asked myself, what would happen if, like, if you jump at the wrong time and then like the axe touched you. I think it has never happened to me. And I also don't feel like trying it, but what does it do? Does it like just take your life away? Does it push you into the pit? Does it... I don't even know. 
One, two, three. Okay. Uh, okay, what we actually need to do back here is um, there is a chain that we need to pull. Whatever that is. And with it, we actually open the... It's not the exit exactly, because there's gonna be a surprise in a minute. But yeah, like, how can I say? We open the door to enter the next part of the level, or at least, yeah. We will actually land back in a place that we know, that we already know to, to say like that. Hooray, the joy of backtracking. Oh, there's so much joy in Tomb Raider 4, I don't even know. And I'm still holding a flare in my hand. I know, Lara, I've seen it. Just let it go. I can't. I'm not gonna ask why, but yeah. Okay. Alright, guys. Um, Before entering through the open door, I actually recommend you to save. Because there is actually the one and only secret in this level coming up. And I don't want to screw this up, so yeah. I actually recommend you to save. Because if you fail this jump, um, yeah, you're gonna miss the secret. And we don't want that, do we? Okay. Alright, what we what you have to do is like aim yourself to the right here, to the right on the slope. Slide a bit and then jump and yes. Land on the flat surface and then just drop into this pit. And here we actually find the Uzis, or Uzi clips for me in this case. And this is the one and only secret. But yeah, if you like screw this up, you can land in the spikes, you can land on the slope and straightly land down here, so yeah, safe. And we're actually back underneath the Sphinx, but this time we actually need to backtrack uh, up to the Sphinx again to like through this hole that we digged. Is this... dig... dig... Yeah. I think this is the right tense, I'm not sure to be honest, but yeah. Yeah, this is actually the hole that we digged, perfectly, like a square, whatever. But now that we actually have um, the Guardian's Guardian's keys, we can actually open a door that is like right over here. Ooh, yeah! Alright. And after entering the entering the store, we actually get to a pretty confusing level, which is the master bus. And yeah, let's see how I'm going to manage this level, right? Ooh, run into it, Lara. Okay, guys, that was Inside My Chorus Pyramid. And I would say I will see you the next time in the Master Bus. And no, I'm not going to make it. That's what she said, joke about it. <laughs> but yeah, guys, see you the next time. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.